stop. Stop. Stop asking God for favors. Stop asking God to come and make you happy, make you successful, and come and fix your life. Stop. God already give you everything that you need to succeed. Everything you need to be happy. Everything you need to create the life you want for yourself. But if you wake up every day and you think God is the only one who can change you, who can fix you, who can solve your issues, I'm here to tell you, stop asking God for this. Because guess what? God already fulfilled all your needs. Your basic needs, food, shelter, clothing. If you're watching this video, you have your needs fulfilled. Now, your wants is on you to fulfill them. Your dreams is on you to fulfill them. Your happiness is on you to fulfill them. Your problems is on you to solve them. Your pain is on you to heal from it. Whatever is bothering you is on you to fix it. Do you think if God wanted to be the only one who has access or control or who, who, who the only one who knows how your life is going to end up, he will have give you a body, a brain for you to think. No, he give you a brain, a mind so you can use it, so you can think for yourself, so you can use your own mind, your own body, your own resources to create heaven here or hell here. How many people you're going to see? Oh no, I'm waiting on God. Oh no, whatever God say. Oh, what, uh, in the name of God. What? Whatever God said? So all, all he gave you, a body, a mind. You, you don't, you don't want to take those things. Stop waiting for God. God ain't coming to fix you. God ain't coming to change you. God ain't coming to make you happy, make you successful. God already equipped you with the mind to change your life. So if your life is not the way, is not the way you want it to be, don't complain. Don't blame God. It's on you. What is it of you praying every day? Oh, God, help me. God, save me. Oh, God, I believe in you. you. Oh, my God, God, whatever you say is going to accomplish. Oh, God. What is it of you praying every day? You get up every day and you take actions. And you do something actually for whatever it is that is going on. Because look around you. Spend, I have an exercise for you. Spend a whole month just praying inside your room. Let me know if anything wants to happen. Nothing will happen. But if you spend a whole month taking act steps, actions, changing your mindset, changing your habits, if you spend a whole month actually doing what you know you have to do, your life will, will, will gonna change. Because what is the point of you waiting to God to come and what? He already give you all you need. It's not God's fault if you are unhappy. It's not God's fault if you have low self-esteem. It's not God's fault if you are negative, if you procrastinate, if you make excuses. It's not God's fault if you don't love yourself, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't support yourself. It's not God's fault if you have dreams, goals, but you choosing to do nothing about, about those things, about those goals. You are your own limitation. You are putting yourself in a box. You are limiting the things you can accomplish, the things you can do, because you are waiting on God. God will do this for me. God will provide. God, why don't you say, I will provide. I will do it for me. I will accomplish it. I will make it happen. I will heal myself. I will save myself. I will make myself happy. I will fix myself. I will make myself successful. Why don't you say I? Remove, remove the word God and put I. I will make it happen. I will change. I will be happy. I will, I will bring solutions. I will be successful. I will be healthy. I will be strong. I will be confident. I, I will pursue my goals, my dreams. I will save my life. But you know, you, go, you prefer to cross your hands and pray and pray and pray. And let me tell you too. If your prayers are not matching your actions, shut up. Shut up. If your prayers are not matching your actions, just shut up. Because you tell me, what is the point of you praying, right, to have a better life? But after you pray, you go back and complain, be negative, make excuses, procrastinate, look at yourself as somebody who's useless, who's powerless. What is the point of that? If your if your prayers are not matching your actions, stop praying. Because no matter how you pray or how much you pray, your actions, what you do, what you do is what create the outcome you are receiving. 
Because imagine if you, if the same way you pray, oh, I pray for this, this will happen. You take the same intensity in your actions, the same, com the same commitment in your actions, a lot is going to happen. But a lot of people walk in this life, they think they are uncapable of nothing. They think they are powerless. They are useless. They think they can do nothing unless God give them permission. God to give you permission? He already make you here. He already give you a mighty a brain. He already gave you nature. What else God supposed to give you? He give you a brain so you can think for yourself. A brain so you can use it for you to create hell here or heaven here. Oh no, God will do this for me. No. Stop. Stop. God is living within you. God already give you a mind, a, a mind, a body in where you can change yourself, in where you can accomplish, in where you can overcome, in you can, in where you can change and become whatever you want to become, and then where you can do anything you want to do. But if you are doubting yourself, it's not God's responsibility. If you think you are powerless, you are useless, it's not God's responsibility. If you don't have self-confidence, it's not God's responsibility. If you have goals, if you have dreams, it's not God's responsibility to achieve your goals, to achieve your dreams. That's your responsibility. <laughs> Think about it. God doesn't have your goals. God doesn't have your dreams. God doesn't have your pain. God doesn't have your insecurities. God doesn't have you. But you have yourself. So stop saying, God will provide. God will do it. God will God. God. Say, I will provide. I will change it. I will make it happen. I am going to be happy. I'm going to be successful. I am confident. I am good enough. I can create the life I want for myself. I can build it. I can succeed. I can prosper. I can progress. I can become whoever I choose to become. Stop pointing the finger at God and point the finger at you and see how your life is going to change. God will do this, God will do that. You think, I'm going to ask you again. You think if God wanted to be the only one who can make choices, who can make decisions in your life, do you think he would have given you the ability for you to be able to think for yourself? To question, to analyze, to behave. Do you think he, he would have given you the power to choose if he wanted to be the only one in control? Nobody is in control. Nobody, no, nobody has your mind. Unless you allow them to. Nobody has you as you have yourself. Nobody knows you as you know yourself. Nobody knows what do you want from, from life apart from you. Nobody knows what you want to overcome. Nobody knows you more than you know yourself. Nobody, you are the only expert of your life. You are the only expert of your life. So again, stop asking God. Stop looking for God to come and pray you, to come and save you, to come and make you happy, make you successful. And you take ownership of your happiness, of your success, of your healing. You take ownership of the life. Because by the way, God already gave you a life. And it's on you to make it as amazing, as beautiful, or as awful, as negative as you choose. The choice is yours, not God.